My cock just passed away. I was wondering if I could bury it inside you. Poof! I'm here. So what are your other two wishes? He's looking at you, kid. Can you keep a secret? I'm trying to organize a prison break. I'm looking for, like, an accomplice. <laughs> We'd have to first get out of this bar, then the hotel, then the city, and then the country. Are you in or are you out? I'm in. He's looking at you, kid. I don't exactly know what I'm required to say in order for you to have intercourse with me. But could we assume that I said all that? I mean, essentially, we're talking about fluid exchange, right? So could we just go straight to the sex? Oh, that was sweet. Have a nice night, asshole. He's looking at you, kid. Consider outer space. You know, from the time of the first NASA mission, it became evident that being in space has a profound effect on the human psyche. You know, during the first Gemini mission, some thought was actually given to the notion of sending up a man and a woman together. Really? Mm -hmm. a cosmic Adam and Eve, if you will, bound together in a highly sophisticated nerve center at the head of the largest, most powerful rocket yet known. Its giant thrusters blasting into the dark void as they hurtled towards their final destination, the gushing wellspring of life itself. How would you like to have a sexual encounter so intense it could conceivably change your political views? Would you like to dance? Yes, please. I'll take that as a no. He's looking at you, kid. I got a bet. Really? I bet you $20 that I can kiss you without ever touching your lips. Kiss me? Without touching. How? What do you mean, how? That's the bet. Okay, let me see the 20. Every He's looking at you, kid. I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. And it's not because I'm lonely, and it's not because it's New Year's Eve. I came here tonight because when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. You see? That is just like you, Harry. You say things like that and you make it impossible for me to hate you. And I hate you, Harry. I really hate you.